Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 25th of November. Now, this is an energy I'm picking up on today, but, you know, sometimes these daily vibes don't resonate for days. Sometimes they <laughs> could be a week later, and then all of a sudden something happens. I'm like, shit, I, I did that reading a week ago, or three days ago, or whatever, so keep that in mind. Now, this is a reading for all signs, but it doesn't have your name on it, so it may not be for you, okay? It's not a private reading, and I am not accepting private readings at this time, even though people are still sending me requests, you know, I'm not, it's, I'm not accepting them at this time. Um, so if you, I will announce on Facebook and on YouTube when I am accepting them again. We're looking at the end of January at this time, um... Yeah. So what do we have for today? <laughs> Somebody's afraid to take a risk, right? Needing to take a risk, needing to have trust, needing to have faith, and probably, you know, about going on their own or going in, down a new path. Somebody's letting their fear hinder them from a fresh start. Why? What, what is there to be afraid of? What's the worst that could happen? You learn something from it, right? Somebody is afraid to take a risk. Hmm. Now, they're probably uh, in a dead-end situation right now, and they're exhausted. But in order to feel alive again, you're going to have to take that leap. Yeah, there's a change of course with the Wheel of Fortune cards, a destined, destined change of course. But this is a card of uh, fate and destiny. Free will does play a part. Somebody is destined for this change. They're destined for good things, but they don't have, they have to take that step. Your free will plays a part. When you do take that step, you're going to start a new chapter, which brings in something really, really good that you are destined to have. Good fortune, good luck, right? That's what the Wheel of Fortune is. When you take that step and complete this chapter of your life, a new, better one begins. That's what this card is. You will feel more alive again, but you have to take the step. Now, I'm going to get some comments below, and I'm going to address this. That says, oh, this is my, my partner needs to do this. No, this greeting is for you. Stop pointing the finger at the next person. A lot of you are in denial, and I feel the need to tell you this. By pointing the finger at the person that is not communicating with you, oh, he needs to take a step, he needs to come back to me, you're in denial. You need to take that step. You have the opportunity to change your course. Staying in a dead-end situation, waiting for somebody else to change. That's being naive. That's kind of not being naive. You need to walk away from the dead-end situation that you're in. Change your life. Take that step. Stop waiting for somebody else to change. Turn your back on that emotionally unfulfilling situation and stop pointing the finger and saying, oh, he needs to do this, she needs to do that. No. That's not the way it is. This reading is for you. Not your significant other that isn't communicating or whatever. This reading is for you.
Mm. Lack of commitment, lack of happiness. Somebody is afraid of commitment. They don't, they're not committed. But we have somebody here that's in denial. And I don't need the cards to see that. There's no commitment here. There's a lack of happiness. There's no solid foundation. Fours are foundations. It's not solid. It's not stable. There's no coming together with this person that you are thinking that is going to change and they need to come around. That person is not committed. You have the opportunity to change your life, to change your direction. Destiny is on your side. <laughs> but you have to you have to wake up. You have to take that step in the new direction. It's a one-sided situation. I knew it was. I knew it was. You know, I, I was been thinking about this reading for the last hour. Somebody is in a one-sided situation, letting themselves uh, be taken advantage of, I mean, or, or they're basically taking advantage of themselves by holding on to this one-sided situation, thinking that somebody's going to come around, somebody's going to change, it's their fault. Oh, God. You're not going to get what you deserve, or you are getting what you deserve, loneliness. Ooh. Yeah. Somebody has lost their focus, lost their concentration, Poor, poor me. It's not my fault. Placing the blame. Self-centered. It's never me. It's them. And this is, this is too burdensome. It's too heavy. It's overwhelming. It's this, this holding on to this baggage, holding on to this load is too stressful. It's causing health issues. Really, it is. It's time to drop it. Drop it. There's no need. Mmm. Oh boy, yeah, somebody is, look at this shit. Somebody is holding on to something that is, it's a dead end situation. Refusing to close this chapter because they don't know their worth. They lack self-confidence. They lack self-esteem. They don't, they're not seeing things clearly. It's almost like there's some power struggles here between two people. It's about winning. It's a false soulmate connection. They're both reversed and somebody thinks this is it. Both the man and the woman in this situation are not... We're in the right state of mind. Okay, they're not in the right state of mind. They're both thinking negatively. They're both very pessimistic. They're both self-centered. They're, you know, um, there's a lot of ego with these two cards. Nobody wants to accept their part in the situation. There's a feeling of emptiness, right? With the world card reverse, a feeling of emptiness, a, 
a loss, something is incomplete, when there's an opportunity to end it, there's an opportunity to complete this cycle in your life and walk away from whoever it is that isn't committed, to walk away from this inner struggle of, you know, it's not me, it's it's him and he's going to change, to walk away from those those thoughts that the other person is going to change because both people in this dynamic are stuck in their ways. There, you know, there's a lot of, uh, it's not me. It's not me. Both people are think they're victim mentality. There we go. Victim mentality. And somebody needs to realize that the other person is not going to change. It's a one-sided situation. And you have the opportunity to, to start in a new direction and go someplace else as soon as you step over that finish line and walk away for good. There's no commitment here. There's no victory in success with the world card reversed. Hanging on to a dead end situation. One sided. You won't get what you deserve in, in love until you start over. You have to start over. And that means in a completely new direction. Completely. Once you take that leap and you stop hanging on to this one-sided dead end. You will, you will get a reward. But until then, you're not going to get a commitment. You're not going to be happy. There's no new beginning until you step over that finish line. Yep. Somebody is... Look at this. There's no action being taken. And we have fire, okay, we have the page of wands, the knight of wands, the queen of wands, the king of wands. Every single one of them is reversed. The fire has been put out. It's over. It's time to be practical. It's time to take steps in the new direction, even if they are baby steps. Whoever it is that you are waiting for them to take action, it's not going to happen. It's not well suited for you. And it's caused you to be distracted from what you could have. You have an opportunity to move forward and leave the past behind right now. Stop hanging on to this dead end one-sided situation because you have a new opportunity waiting for you to take it and head in that direction. Somebody is being naive, waiting for somebody else to step outside of their ego and apologize and come back and, you know, no, it's not happening. It's not happening. And don't be pointing the finger at the other person because in this circumstance it's up to you to take that step in a new direction you, you you have the choice to stay holding on to this dead end this one-sided situation and pretend this person is going to come back around and and hinder your your life you have that choice to do that, you know, to not find commitment, to not find happiness, to live alone. You have that choice. Yes, you do. Go ahead. But you're going to be wallowing in your own self-pity while you're waiting. Poor, poor, pitiful me. You have the opportunity to change your destiny, to change your life. 
by taking the high road. And it feels as though somebody is being given the opportunity at this time to walk away from this negative situation. It's very negative. The fire is out. And it's time to be practical. You need to be practical. Not the one you're waiting on. Somebody is hanging on to somebody that's not well suited for them. This person wasn't in it for the long haul. <laughs> but, you know, some people live in denial forever. And that's a sad situation. You have the opportunity to, to change your course right now. Walk away and don't look back. It's too heavy. It's too overwhelming. This person isn't going to take any action. Absolutely not. So we have a destined change of course in which you have to take that step away from this one-sided dead-end situation. And that's what today is about. Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. This is about follow your heart. You deserve happiness. You deserve love. Why would you stay someplace where there's no reciprocation? Go find the joy and the love that you deserve. Because right now, somebody's in a one-sided situation, and they aren't getting what they deserve. But they're allowing it because they're not taking steps out of it. Pretending that somebody's going to change. This person is not going to change. Their ego is huge, huge. It's time to be practical. Go get what you deserve. Because whoever it is that you are pretending that is going to change or they need pointing the finger at is not committed. And there's no victory and success in that direction. It's a one-sided situation. I don't know who this reading is for. Many of you are going to be in denial. So be it. Good luck.